Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm very excited to do a normal vlog for you guys because the past few have been me partying in the desert, living my best life. And while that was so much fun, I'm happy to be home and have a couple days of rest before Cal and I go to Vegas to celebrate his birthday. I swear to you, after Vegas, I'm going back into retirement and will not be leaving the house, but I've been, I've been keeping up, you guys. I thought Romy was gone. She's alive and well, everyone. All right, we are up. I am drinking, first of all, I'm in my Calcella shirt. I just made myself an iced double espresso latte. I used these ingredients here. Finished up this almond milk. We're kind of just using up whatever's in the fridge right now because since we're leaving again in a couple days, I don't want to go buy a bunch of groceries. So I finished up this almond milk and I used almost all of this Three Trees vanilla bean almond milk. I will say, I think I prefer this one right here. This one is really great, but it's really thick. If you like a really thick, creamy latte, then this is for you. I like mine to be a little bit more thin. So I'm an almond milk girl. So I mix these two milks, put a little bit of stevia, and then I use some Nut Pods oat creamer. Now over here on my pan, which how cute is this pan that I got? I'm frying up a couple eggs. They look great. Already over here in the air fryer, I cooked up a hash brown patty, and I'm going to attempt to make the avocado toast on a hash brown. Again, just using up things in the fridge. This was in the freezer. I have one avocado, and then some eggs. And we're gonna assemble and see how it is. Oh my God, you guys. This avocado is perfect. Today is gonna be a fabulous day. All right, here is my avocado toast. I put some chili crunch on top. This one's the one from Momofuku. It's so yummy. Normally you serve the egg on top, but since I have two, I just put them on the side. Let's do a taste test. Here's the thing. We all obviously know this is going to be delicious, but still, let's try together. You gotta do a bite of everything. Avocado, chili crunch, hash brown. Ooh hoo hoo, that egg is perfect. Big bite of everything together. Huge bite, oh no, huge bite. Mmm. My only question is why did I not do this sooner in life? Oh my goodness. Everybody needs to try this right now. Blown away. Oh my God, completely exceeded my expectations. I truly cannot get over that incredible breakfast that I just had. It was so good. Okay, now it is time to check on the garden because I'm gonna be fully honest. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I laid on the couch all day. So today it is. Hey, Dodo. Oh my God, just opened the door and we have a parallel apparel package. What a beautiful day today is. I did indeed place a massive order of their new drop because it was genuinely made for me. Also, I have this package here from Spotify that I haven't opened up yet. I I got it out of the box and I wanted to do it on the vlog. You guys, you know what I realized? You know how Daisy always sits by me when I open up packages? I realized it's because she thinks it's a bark box. She waits for her bark box every month. My heart could melt. How do I open this? Oh, <gasps> whoa, oh my God. <gasps> Stop. Okay, also the fact that I get PR from Spotify is insane. I use Spotify every literal waking moment of my life. Like I just paused Spotify to start vlogging. I'm so excited. Okay, well first up we got a Smeg blender. This matches my Smeg toaster. A Google Home Mini, which can never have enough of those. Little bubble wrap to recycle. Oh, they're coffee, little like coffee thermoses. Love the colors, I love Spotify. This is honestly a dream come true. I am so excited. Okay, back to the garden. When I garden, I like to leave the door open so that the pups can just roam around. It's so cute. They just sit and soak up the sun. Here is our garden as of right now. It is looking crazy. We have a little new addition, which I will get to in another vlog for you guys, but very exciting stuff happening back there. All right, the garden is coming along very, very well. If you can see, all of the greens are massive. We've got a little bug on there. Hope he's enjoying. Everything's looking so good. These are my tomato plants. They're getting massive. I've tied them quite a few times up the trellises so that they have some support. I tied them down here, and then they got so much bigger that I had to tie them also up here. But the tomato are looking good if you look deep in here. I also did prune back quite a bit of this the other day and it's still just growing so much. Here we've got some tomatoes down here. I know you guys love the gardening content. We've got tomatoes here. We've got tomatoes in here. Sorry, it's like deep in there. There's so many. Oh, these ones look big over here. Tomatoes right there. Love to see it. It just got whacked in the eye by a leaf. Same thing, tomatoes over here. I trimmed so much back and it's just so vast. I definitely have to go in and do more again, but here's like another little tomato in there. Little baby one down here if you can see there she is deep in the forest all right looking so good lots of tomatoes my lettuce is getting so big definitely need to make a salad again soon I did also take out the peas if you guys remember the peas were going up the peas had a wonderful life it was time to get rid of them they just started dying out and they weren't producing any more peas so I got rid of those there are quite a few also in here that I just had to remove oh my god 
my first tomato with color. She's already turning yellow. Oh, that's exciting. Over here, the herbs are looking really good. I also harvested a bunch of the chamomile here and I have like a little bouquet inside the house. Everything here is looking really good. Wow, this looks amazing too. My Trader Joe's basil plant is holding up really nicely. And then over here, my lettuce grow is doing so, so well. I obviously haven't been home a lot to kind of tend to things and also to like eat things, but this lettuce is looking massive. My butter lettuce looks great. Again, I need to make a giant salad with this like very, very soon. All my flowers look great. These are all edible flowers. So they're perfect for like garnishes, put them in drinks, whatever that may be. And then I believe these are my, my tomatoes around here. Yeah, these are all little tomato flowers. So these are growing nice and big. My strawberries are up at the top. Those are looking good too. Everything's looking amazing. I believe this is kale, I wanna say. So I need to juice all this. I need to eat the lettuce. We're looking really, really good. I'm so happy with how well this is doing. This thing is amazing because it truly just runs itself. I just fill it with water and then it's on a timer. All right, so I need to water everything today. Over here are my limes. I have a little baby lime right here. She's looking fantastic. There were also quite a few little lime flowers. They might've fallen off though because it's been getting really hot. My passion fruit is over here. Oh, here are my little baby limes. There they are. Here we go. Tiny little baby limes, if you can see that. Sorry, the lighting is weird. So this passion fruit plant is just crazy and it's always growing everywhere. Here's a passion fruit flower, which is so gorgeous. Look at that. It's like so intricate and pretty. Oh my God, here are my peaches. You guys look how big they're getting. I had one fall off, so I just threw it in here to just dwindle down into the dirt, but they're really fuzzy and soft. And we've got quite a few. We've got like them here, here, they're back there. These are all different types of peaches. Again, if you guys remember different varieties, there's also one in here that I like to keep my eyes on. Oh, right in there, looking fuzzy and delicious. So I can't wait to see those. I also found a baby avocado on my tree. My avocado tree is looking a little sad. It definitely needs some water. Where's my little avocado? There was one little baby one. Daisy May, you in the garden, baby? You just exploring? Right in there, right on this finger, that is a little baby, baby avocado. I don't know how many I'm gonna get this season, but we're gonna see. No lychee came this year, so I think that'll be next year, but my mangoes are flourishing. Look how big they've gotten. Look at that! So many mangoes all on this tree, all over. These are all little individual mangoes. So many mangoes over here. Look how big they're getting, crazy. And then I've also got quite a few lemons that are doing well too and turning nice and yellow. So I've got a lot to water, but there is the garden tour as of right now. Garden update, let's uh, get them all drinking because they are thirsty. All right, first up, I'm just gonna fill up my lettuce grow in here. This drinks really quickly, so they need a lot of water. I usually fill it up like twice a week or so. Oh, look at those roots in there. All right. Watering all up in here. We've got tons of chamomile. I cut so much chamomile back. My sage is getting massive. I've never seen sage this big in my life. Usually when you buy it at the store, they're like such little leaves. So this is amazing. All right, gardening is done. Gardening task of the day. Now I'm in the midst of doing all the laundry that's piled up for the past few weeks. Fun stuff. I love washing, hate, folding. Anyone else agree? Hi guys. Okay, it is much later since I last saw you. I did my hair, did my makeup. Here's the thing. Let's sit down over here. All right, before we get into the outfit of the day or rather outfit of the night, I want to show you guys a close up. Here's my makeup. I'm wearing, I think these are lily lashes, I want to say. I think they're me. No, no, Miami Lights, I think that's what they are. I know, Alexis used them on me and I really like them. I used Freck for my little fake freckles and then for my hair, I just used my T3 one inch curling iron. Now, every time I don't have my extensions in, I get so many comments from you guys saying that you like my natural hair so much more than the long hair. And while I appreciate that, obviously, and I do love the length that my hair has grown to and it's so healthy and strong and shiny. Look at that shine, are you kidding me? I personally just feel better and more confident when I have my extensions in. I love, love, love long hair. I always have. So that's why I personally wear them. I love the way that I feel in them. I love the way my hair looks in them. And that's just how I feel. It's like my security blanket also. I mean, I would love for my natural hair to get down to here at one point one day, and that's what we're working on. But until then, I wear extensions. So that's what I do with the hair. Just kind of like waved it. Use some Living Proof Dry Volume Spray to add a little bit of texture. It's like super clean hair though. So it's falling a little flat because it is so clean. For my jewelry, I'm wearing these earrings from Amazon, which are like little silver huggies. And then I'm wearing, I don't know where I got this necklace, but a little star necklace. It's cute, just a little silver moment. Now let's do the outfit. All right, here's the outfit. I'm wearing my new piece of parallel. This is their square neck tank top but with long sleeves. So as you guys know, I love a long sleeve. I feel so comfortable and confident in them. And while I do love the tank, I definitely just feel a little bit better in a long sleeve. And I love, it's the same like buttery, soft, smooth fabric. I believe this is the color Mocha. 
and I really love it. I'm not wearing a bra. Everybody asks me, how do I not wear bras with shirts? And how do like my boobs look good still? You just lift and then they just sit there. <laughs> the elasticity in the top definitely like keeps the ladies looking nice and also just like supported overall. I love this top so much. I'm pretty sure they're still available on the website. So parallelapparel.com. Check them out, I'll link it down below. They also dropped it in like a purple color, which is really, really pretty. I got both, obviously. But I wanted to go with this neutral one tonight with just some leather pants and then my Mocha Nikes, which it actually matches the top absolutely perfectly. So this is the look, super simple, casual, and uh, now Cal and I are gonna go to Target because we have to pick up some random house things before we head over to the event. Yeah! Wait, I just ended the vlog clip and realized I'm the worst vlogger ever. I don't think I even told you that we're going to an event tonight. You're probably so confused. Cal and I are going to go to an event with Living Proof tonight, which is very exciting because you know how much I love Living Proof. Also Alicia, Ollie, TK, Taryn, Ash, Lex, everybody's going, so it's gonna be just a fun adventure. And then later tonight, Cal and I made a reservation to our favorite Italian spot, which is like on the way over. So I can't always eat that. I've been thinking about it all day. Updates in the kitchen. I put, Cal, this is for you to know too. I put the fruit ball in this corner now. I saw. Fruit bowl, not fruit ball. So this is our fruit bowl, which is very lackluster currently. These are still lemons from my parents' trees that are like, they're they're old, but they still have a lot of juice in them. So we've got lemons here, a single banana, and then over here, hi, which is where the fruit bowl used to be, I put the new blender. So we've got the blender and the toaster right next to each other, and I feel like both are gonna be utilized pretty often. So it's nice to have them out on the counter. In a dream world, I would put them away because it would be nice to be clean, but we do use them frequently, so that's okay. All right, Cal is putting on chill music for the girls. A little lo-fi moment, perfect. Then we go. And I am taking a poppy for the road. Watermelon, ooh la la. We've made it to Target. First up, I almost got a toilet paper. Toothpaste, this is my favorite toothpaste. Colgate in this little squeezy tube. I learned this from my aunt and I'm obsessed. Cal's toothpaste of choice. Crest Pro Health. I borrowed TK's body wash at Stagecoach and I really liked it, so I'm gonna try this native body wash. Normally, I get the Olay one, which is really good, but I'm gonna try this one. I really like this brand too, Naturium. They sent me some body washes and I really like theirs as well. There's like a yellow one with salicylic acid that I really like. This is the brand that I like, the Olay. This is the rinse off body conditioner. Oh, this one. This one's my favorite, the hyaluronic acid one. The pumps are awesome and they smell so good. I also want to get something plain for the nether regions. Oh, oh, they've just got these little concentrates now to refill your bottles, that's awesome. Oh my God, I just found Olay makes the hand wash version. First off, I love the bottle and the pump. This is orange blossom, hibiscus, or jasmine. <gasps> I love it, I had no idea. All right, we got all the stuff we came for. I also picked up another one of these tree hut scrubs. I go through them like once a month and I've never tried the strawberry one. I really like this. Also, I wanted to bring like a lotion that I could travel with with like a little closer top because all mine have pumps. This one is the Vaseline Coco Radiant, which I used to use years ago and it smells really good. I'm also hungry for a snack for the road because we have a long trip ahead of us. So what snack should we get? Ooh, these look good. Grooves? I'm feeling a cheese it I'm not even a cheese it girl, but they look yummy. All right, Cal got Dave's Killer Bread. We love Dave's Killer Bread here. Everything bagels, and then I'm so excited. I found their smaller thin sliced breads, but in the white bread version, which I've never seen. I think this is new. I do keep up with the Dave's Killer Bread drops, and I am very excited. Update. Cheese it grooves are the move for a car snack. Okay, this is the building in which the event is at. This is very cool. Okay, it's a little dark. Ooh, I think I'll do this Enjoy. one. Thank you yes. so much. You guys, I was handed this fancy little hot pocket. She said it's like almond cheese. It does look like a big to Tostino's pizza roll. She said, is it called Tostino's? Is it not? Cochinos. Oh, she did say there's shrooms in it. Is it good? Lex likes it. Sea lettuce with black trumpet jam. Sea lettuce. Sure, thank you. Very LA. Do you want one, Cal? I'll try it, yeah. Thank you. Ollie got it just because we got it. He said no, and then he took it. It looks like Ollie could fold his swan. Very LA. Looks like it's a. Ooh, that mushroom was good. How do you eat it? You put it in your mouth. Cal liked my joke. That's like a toasty. Though. Is it good? Yeah. It tastes like those chips you put in soup. Oh my god, Emily. Emily, 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 Emily. Emily where's Gabrielle? Lily Collins is over there. If anyone has seen, personally my favorite movie of her is hers is Love Rosie or Stuck in Love. 
iconic. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm okay. Thank you, though. Wow, Cal, you gotta get one of these. Look how pretty that is. Cal and I came on a little date night. He looks so handsome. We're at Ospi in Venice, and they have the most amazing cow. I almost called it a cow salad. The most amazing kale salad. It's so good. Oh my god, we got this pizza with like, it has soppressata, chili, and honey on top. And then he told me about this thing that I had to say yes to. I don't know what it is. It looks like some sort of cheese that you dip in. It looks bomb. Hello, guys. It is the next day. The hair is back. I feel like myself again. I, again, I know some people like the short hair. I personally just love the long hair moment. But today, we've been right at work. There we go. Why have I never used this as a tripod before? Are you kidding me? You guys, if you've been watching my vlogs for the past, like, how many years do you think I've been using this camera? I think before I even met you. I think I've been using the same vlog camera. I'm trying to think of, like, vlogmases. Probably, like, four years or so. This is the Canon M50. I've talked about it a bunch, and I love this camera for vlogging. Like, I truly don't know if I will ever change because it's just, like, second nature to me now. And I love it so much, and Canon heard that I love it, so they're sponsoring me today, not on this vlog, in a TikTok. I'm just sharing because I'm very excited. So they sent me a new one, and I've been filming a TikTok today, but vertically on this camera. And let me just say, I think I will be definitely doing TikToks on this camera more often now. Right now, you guys are in my TikTok. Say hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, I've been doing that. We just did some really exciting things for an exciting project. I feel like an annoying YouTuber, and I can't tell you about, but I will say, some people in the comments got pretty close when I talked about it last. Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. I'll have to consult with Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a meeting for Pretty Basic already today, and then now I'm just kind of wrapping up some other work things, and then I think that's pretty much for the work day. Pretty easy. I have to edit a vlog, but things are going swell, that's for sure, and that is my update. For breakfast this morning, I made my same hash brown toast thing again, which was so good. That's it. That's the update. Talk soon. Hello, guys. Just had some lunch. I ate the leftover pizza from last night, which was so delicious. It was just cold. I mean, I know it's nothing new and nothing groundbreaking, but cold pizza is delicious. Now, I'm just sitting outside because the weather's so nice today, and I'm in the shade, so it's cool that I'm wearing sweatpants, and I'm wearing the other color of the parallel long sleeve. When I tell you guys I love parallel, I'm not just saying that. I genuinely wear their stuff every day. Momo's over there. She's doing some exploring. I'm editing just outside because it's such a beautiful day. Hi. Hey queen. All right, well, I'm just gonna edit and I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, it is later. I immediately took off my makeup as soon as I could and put on my pajamas. It is, we're having a pretty early dinner at 7.30. We usually eat a little bit later, but. What? I just love you. <laughs> Are you excited for tomorrow? Yes. You are. I'm very excited. We are officially going to Vegas tomorrow. My dad is coming by tonight because he's going to stay at the house and watch the pups. And we just ordered dinner. We didn't have much left in the fridge to cook, so ordering it is. And it was one of my favorites. It is one of my favorites. Sugar fish. Oh, it looks so good. Cal got a trust me, which is what it normally comes with. Like, this is the preset one. It comes with sea bream, albacore, salmon, and I think that one is yellow dill, I want to say. There is tuna sashimi, edamame and then crab and tuna cut roll. I like to make my own though, so I did edamame, tuna sashimi, I did a cut roll with salmon and lobster, and then I love the salmon and the shrimp so much, so that's what I got, and my mouth is salivating. Also, I'm obsessed with this water bottle right now. Yet another water bottle that I love, but I love trying new ones. This one has been my favorite thus far because I do not spill it ever. With so many of my water bottles, I'll be sitting on the couch and then they fall over and then my couch is soaking wet because it wasn't able to lock properly. This one is from Owala. I'll link it down below. I got this one on Amazon. I will say it's a little small. This is supposed to be the 32 ounce one. Yeah, it is. It's 32 ounces, but I wish there was a bigger one than this. Maybe one day there will be, but there's a lock on it. So you can lock it and it won't open up, which is fantastic. And then when it's unlocked, you just go like this and there's a straw that pops out, which makes drinking so nice. And the straw is like very nice and thin. So it's really satisfying to drink from. And it's got like a little carrying handle. So big fan. I'll link that for you guys, but I am obsessed with it and it keeps your drink and your ice solid for like a day. It's really great. Hi guys, dinner was delicious. Now I really want some ice cream. I'm craving some sweet treats for dessert. And I really wanted this ice cream in particular. I've yet to try it, but I bought this a while ago, I believe from Gelson's, I wanna say. Gelson's or Whole Foods. This is the Must Love Bananas brand, and it is a banana-based ice cream. So it's non-dairy, and the, I think I have soy sauce in my face. The flavor is Choco Choco Chip, so it's basically like a chocolate banana flavor, which has my name written all over it. The only thing is this is pretty frozen solid. I have been letting it sit up for like 10 minutes or so. It's still pretty hard. Let me try with a spoon. Definitely less creamy and more like icy than other regular ice creams. 
Mmm, wow, that is so good. The chocolatey flavor is very rich. It's creamier than it looks, but still not as creamy as regular ice cream. But as I'm saying, if anybody else out there is impatient when it comes to ice cream, I got this scooper, which I will also link down below. And it's from the brand Zero, Z-E-R-O-L-L. -L. Basically, you can use, I don't know what it is. It's like conductive with some sort of heat in your hand. Your ice cream could be frozen solid. And this thing will scoop it out perfectly every Time. I don't understand how or why, but it just does. It's amazing. I will say, of course, you can just sit your ice cream out and let it thaw a bit and then use a regular scooper or a regular spoon, but I thought this thing was amazing. Ooh, okay, wait. I'm like actually feeling a lot. I'm gonna have three scoops. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go find out if this brand has any more flavors, but chocolate and banana to me just go heavenly together. Oh, wait, also, oh my God, this is so exciting. You know what else goes well together? with ice cream, cookies. So I found these cookies on TikTok. It's a small business and I followed his journey for quite a few months and then the product officially dropped. The creator of them is an Asian content creator. So you know we wanna support also. And these are called effing good snacks. I like, I legit followed for so long. I saw like the whole journey of the packaging and how it came to be and the different like trials they went through. So I was so excited to finally try. Basically the whole idea behind this product is, you know, late at night, you get a sweet sugary craving, but eating sugary snacks right before bed, obviously your blood sugar is gonna spike. Obviously that's not great for your sleep and also just not great for you. So these are so cute. I love the packaging. They are chocolate little mini cookies and they're filled with things like almond flour. There's like MCT oil from coconuts, dark chocolate chips, cocoa butter, stevia extract, all those sorts of things. So they're better for you and also have things in them that make it great to eat before bed. Basically it says late night snacks from your wildest dreams for the nights when your stomach cries cookies but your brain says you can do better than that. Our cookies these are sure to curb your craving without taking a bite out of your bedtime or your diet. So I've been dying to try them, honestly, and I feel like they'd be so good with the ice cream. And of course, want to support a small business, so I'll tag them down below. Ooh, they look really good. Oh, they're like soft. For being like a prepackaged cookie, I feel like they're always really crunchy. Like this is so soft. Wow, okay, let me try. Oh my God, so soft. Really, really, really chewy. There's almost like a molasses. Flavor? Oh my God, okay, wait. I wanna take the cookie and then some ice cream and then another cookie and make a little ice cream sandwich. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It tastes like banana bread. It almost has that like banana bread consistency because it's so chewy. All right, I have to take the dogs out, but if you guys like chewy cookies and you're looking for a healthier option, these are amazing. So I'll link them down below. See you soon. Hi guys, welcome to the glam room, which is super, super, super messy right now. Oh, battery's gonna die, we gotta switch you. Luckily, I've got another one. <laughs> right here and we're back in action just like that okay so i just packed for vegas and i actually have never felt this well prepared for any trip in my entire life i think it's mostly because i have not really unpacked from weekend one of coachella i just keep taking the toiletries oh i forgot my toothbrush that's bad other than that i'm ready but i basically just let me show you. All my toiletries, makeup, hair stuff has just stayed the same throughout every suitcase for the past three weekends. I did upgrade to the big suitcase for this weekend. I normally was bringing that one over there, like a medium blue one, but this time I have space and room, so I'm bringing the big one. And basically I've just got all of my like beauty things here, as I said, which I love getting ready in Vegas. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh, you know what I do need to bring? I like this guy because it's got a big mirror and I'm gonna bring some of my new favorite lashes. These are the Lily Lashes Sephora collection ones in Beverly Drive. Yes, Beverly Drive. They're so good. Almost forgot stuff. I can't believe I was so confident. So I think everything's packed. I've got all that stuff, all my clothes over there. I've got like comfy clothes for the daytime, casual clothes for the daytime, fun clothes for nighttime, clothes to chill out in, bathing suits, underwear, socks, shoes here, and then I'm gonna wear sneakers on the plane. And I'm pretty sure that's all that I need. Some bag options. I think I'm gonna make some fun TikToks and things. I'm gonna throw my tripod in here. And then I think I'm pretty much good to go. All right, I'm gonna go get my toothbrush. And on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you you guys enjoyed our just normal vlog at home. I had a really good time with you guys. Be sure to come back if you guys want to see Cal and my Vegas adventures. It's going to be fun. I love you and I'll see you guys later. Bye!